Hey, yo, people's I'm Kip Evers 3, and welcome to Kyle is Famous. So, I saw this game a little while ago while just browsing Steam, and it's a free game that really piqued my interest because it is a game where you can, I believe, at least, influence the day of a guy named Car Kyle. I almost said Carl, I don't know why. Um, but anyways, this is you making decisions for Kyle, and there are multiple different endings. It's kind of like the St Stanley parable, which is what really got it for me. And uh, I believe it just came out a couple months ago, maybe October. So that was a little while ago, but it's still fairly new. And yeah, we're going to play it. Uh, it was free. I would highly recommend you go check it out uh, for yourself. And without further ado, welcome to Kyle is Famous. The menu music already has me. I, I love it. So let's just start. Kyle wakes up. He is famous. More. Ky Kyle is host of the most popular talk show in recent memory, Stay Up Late with Kyle. Stay Up Late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly in the last year, and the public has noticed. Inside has called Kyle a most excellent dumpy white man. <laughs> That's maybe not the thing you want to be called a, d a dumpy white man but top tech noted that kyle is inspiring youth to explore stem fields i don't know what stem fields are i'm assuming that's that's a backhanded compliment like the last one most other talk shows are dis dedicated to discussing kyle and his personal details most online videos are best of clips taken from kyle's latest broadcast the eye of the world is upon kyle okay Tonight is Kyle's most important guest interview yet. Stay Up Late with Kyle will be featuring Rachel May. She is a kind and lovely philanthropist. Philanthropist? Fist? I don't remember. She is dear to the hearts of many. This interview requires preparation. Kyle cracked his eyes open knowing today is his last chance to prepare for the interview. Kyle has 30 hours left. He must choose his actions wisely. Kyle's first decision of the morning was made wisely. Exit the bed or wither away. Okay, I'm gonna play this like this was me. I know, kind of boring. But I think y you can replay it, so we'll come back. Exit the bed. Kyle ex exited his bed and took a quick glance around his bedroom. Scavenge, open the closet, sit at the desk, exit bedroom to hallway. That took an hour to get out of bed? Oh my gosh, Kyle. Kyle, my man, how how long, how, why why does it take you an hour to get out of bed, bud? It, it takes just a minute for me. Or is this like actual time? Do I need to make the decisions quickly or does each decision take away an hour? I don't know, I'm just gonna assume it took him an hour to get out of bed. Uh, let's open the closet. Oh, each one takes an hour, shoot. Kyle opened the closet. It was dark and he could only read his hanging shirts. Choose an outfit. How does this take an hour for this guy to do? It takes him an hour to open the closet door, closet door, an hour to put on his clothes. Kyle decided to take some time to choose the perfect outfit, knowing how important appearance is. Oh, shoot. I really want to do one of these stupid ones. Slick suit, suit of armor, skunk pasties, jeans and swimming goggles. Phew. Kyle miraculously crammed his dumpy body into the suit. The chest pockets were filled with random knickknacks. Back to room. Kyle returned to the center of the room. Let's sit at the desk. Kyle made his way over to the desk and sat down. Write notes for interview. Kyle wrote down his first question. Am I a mother? Is your mother a mother? Are you a mother? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I, again, I want to play this one safe. Are you a mother? Kyle wrote down his second question. What are some diet tips? Beef master blended. <laughs> Ever eaten a raw egg hole? <laughs> what, what is this? Um, what are some diet tips? Kyle wrote down his third question. What is, what's your funniest story? Do you ever smile? And I purposely ran over your puppy. Oh my God. Why, why is, why is that a thing? What? Kyle, bud, do do we need to talk about something? Kyle, I don't, I don't think this obsession of yours is healthy. 
Uh, what's your funniest story? Kyle wrote down his last question. Do you feel guilty? Are you guilty? What's your guilty pleasure? Again, I'm just going to keep it kind of safe. Kyle ripped his page of notes out of the notebook and got up from the desk. Back to desk. Check in desk drawer. Kyle opened up the side drawer on his desk and grabbed one of the items stored there. Small key, assorted change. Shoot, I'm going to take the key. Kyle grabbed the small key he kept in his desk. Okay, so I have stuff up here. Back to desk, and then back to room. Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. Scavenge, sit in desk, open the closet. Exit the bedroom to hallway. Kyle walked into the small hallway that connects the rooms of his apartment together. Check locked door, leave apartment, move to kitchen, return to bedroom. Move to kitchen. Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. Open fridge. Kyle opened the fridge, intending to find something to eat. Prepare breakfast, eat condiment. Well, it's been what? Like... 30 minus 11, quick maths. 19 hours. It's not breakfast anymore. <laughs> I, I said that and I didn't notice the eat the fridge option until right now. I don't, I wanna do it so bad, but I'm gonna prepare breakfast. Kyle constructed a breakfast of poached eggs and toast along with a small fruit cup and grilled sausage. Eat. Kyle ate his breakfast slowly and thoughtfully, enjoying every bite. The sound effects are beautiful. Return to kitchen. Uh, let's return to the hallway and then... Will it automatically take me to the interview or do I need to be there on time? I'm gonna leave apartments just cause I... Oh, okay, so I think it will take me there on uh, uh, instantly. Kyle walked out into the middle of the road and took a long, pondering look around him. He's gonna get hit by a car. Visit tech store or visit downstairs neighbor. I'm gonna go to the tech store. Kyle walked into the clean, white tech store. He was greeted by Techno Gym, an elaborate cutout mascot with flashing lights. Alright, my dog would not shut up, so I brought her in here. This is Lola, for those of you who don't know. Kyle walks into the clean- I already read this. Ask attendant for free samples. <laughs> Ste steal techno gym. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm gonna ask for samples. Because I don't know what that means. Kyle asked the store attendant whether or not they offered any free samples to important customers. The attendant gave Kyle a confused and slightly vacant look. Kyle began to beg for a free sample. Wanting Kyle to leave, the attendant grabbed a decrepit phone meant for spare parts and held it out. Grab with teeth. Kyle firmly clamped his mouth around the outstretched phone, creating several teeth holes in the screen. Kyle grunted and yanked with his head until the attendant let go of the phone. The phone is now Kyle's to use forever. <laughs> Kyle hurried to the set. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded, scream and spin in circles or answer politely. Again, I'm going to play this one kind of safe. I know I didn't with the phone thing just a second ago, but I'm going to try to. Answer politely. And I as well, Rachel answered. Kyle, extending his hand in greeting. You are a most welcome guest. Shake hands. After an other mild exchange of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Start broadcast. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle, introduced Rachel. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Kyle motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss, so we might as well dive right in, said Kyle. I'm very ready, said Rachel with a winning smile. Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. Are you a mother? Rachel, I and many others would love to know. Are you a mother? Kyle looked up from his notes. <clears throat> well, being a single woman with a career, she answered, that's not something that has crossed my mind. Rachel smiled genuinely at Kyle. Well, that's good. 
Very reasonable indeed, said Kyle. He refer referenced his paper of questions. Kyle asked another question. I'm gonna go with diet. Th I'm gonna, I think I wanna do it in the order that they were in to begin with. Rachel, you managed to keep such a thin and healthy figure, said Kyle. What is your best diet tip? Well, a good diet starts with a plan, answered Rachel, and don't break it. Cheat days can turn into a habit. That's something I'm very bad at. I, I can't diet. Uh, I like food too much. But, she continued, that doesn't mean a midnight snack here and there isn't allowed. She smiled. Kyle looked at his flabby self, decided to not comment, and moved on. <laughs> That's awesome. Kyle asked another question. What is... Oh, was funny a story last? I don't remember. I'm going to do guilty pleasure. We all have one. What's your guilty pleasure? Ooh, well, that's an easy answer, said Rachel. Dipping pickles in chocolate sauce. No, that is not okay. That That is sacrilegious. I don't know how or why, but it's disgusting, which means it's sacrilegious. <laughs> what? Well, who... Okay, who actually, I'm gonna get thrashed in the comments because someone watching this video probably does it, but who actually dips pickles in chocolate sauce? That's not okay. That's, that's disgusting and gross. Stop. I don't like Rachel anymore. This girl needs help. It might sound strange, but it's tangy and sweet at the same time. No, <laughs> I don't want to imagine it. Stop talking. I eat it far too often. Rachel smiled sweetly. There's nothing sweet about you, you demonic monster. Kyle asked another question. What's your funniest story? I don't want to know after the, the pickles thing. Okay? Anyone who eats pickles with chocolate sauce on them is... No. You should kick her off the show right now. Kyle, bud, listen to me. She's a bad person. She's probably like a murderer or a cult leader or something. Okay, fine. We'll ask the question. You've been involved in a lot of different things, said Kyle, but what's your funniest story? Well, that's a great question, Kyle, said Rachel. I don't know if I want to hear the answer to this one. I'm going to click it. I think the story I always remember is the first time I tried to make dinner for my family. Was it pickles with chocolate sauce on it? Because I would throw up. Okay, that, that's just that. I, there's no way. In the soup I made, I swa- oh no. You know, you know it's gonna be bad when you read that. I swapped out the water with milk and tipped the whole jar of salt into the pot. Maybe you should stay away from the food, Rachel. Just, just don't. Just, no, 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 don't, don't, don't even, don't even try. Just... Just get get out of the kitchen and and let someone else do it. You just, no, no, you need to stop. Well, my family was sick from trying to eat it, of course. I swiped their things and locked myself in my room. What the heck? Rachel laughed elegantly. Kyle decided to move on. Yes, Kyle, we need to move on. We need to kick her off the show. This woman is a psychopath. Call the cops, please. After reading his final question, Kyle looked up from his paper. I love the music. Well, Rachel, he said, I think that's all I was planning on asking you. If that's the case, Kyle, may I ask you something in return? Asked Rachel, smiling one more time. Say no, say no, say no. Do you prepare for your interviews in advance? Because you seem very together. Well, yeah, I don't freaking eat pickles covered in chocolate sauce and soup made out of milk and salt. Freaking why? Before Kyle can answer, the camera shut down. The broadcast was over. Kyle returned home, knowing the interview had gone well. You call that well? She's a demonic evil thing. That was not well. I feel sick. But as he lay in bed, where'd the music go? I liked the music. But as he lay in bed and drifted to sleep, he felt that perhaps something was still missing? End. <laughs> Kyle prepared very well. Endings unlocked. One out of 21. Ooh, yay. Haha. <laughs> uh, reset or return to menu? Uh, reset. 
Kyle's first decision of the morning was made wisely. Ooh, I got a new one. Dang. I'm gonna save the new stuff till after I kind of mess with some of the older stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one for now. Let's wither away. Kyle decided to stay put and wither away. Kyle withered successfully and died. <laughs> what? Wait, hold on. Kyle withered successfully and died. Shucks. Kyle is now a ghost. This does not relieve him of his responsibility. <laughs> what? My status has changed from bed to deathbed. Get out of bed anyways. Oh, I now have a little ghost thing. Kyle exited his bed and took a quick glance around his bedroom. Well, I'm a ghost now. Can't I do whatever the crap I want? Let's scavenge. Kyle quickly crouched down on the floor, realizing his immediate need for... Gossip, resources, bugs, or back to bed bugs. We need bugs. Ghosts and bugs, they just... they just... You, you get what I mean? Kyle started to pick between the fuzz of his bedroom carpet, hoping to catch a stray beetle or two. Soon, he had a small handful of various insects dead and alive. Safe for later use or eat immediate. Okay. This is a tough one. Because I want to eat them immediately. That's my impulse for this moment. I don't know why. But I feel like if I save them for later use, I'm going to be able to use them in the interview. And throw them at demonic Rachel. So I'm going to save for later use. Kyle stashed the wriggling mass of for later use. Back to bedroom. Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. I want to I wanna do the stupid questions. Kyle made his way over to the desk and sat down. Let's write notes. Kyle wrote his first question. Is your mother a mother? Am I a mother? I already did are you a mother. I don't want to do the nice and formal and whatnot. I want to screw stuff up as much as humanly possible. And I don't know which of these to do. Um, am I a mother? I want to, because I feel like she could just be like, uh, yeah, for the, my mother being a mother. But she could also be like, oh yeah, you're a guy, so no. But I don't know. I feel like it will cause more confusion. Kyle wrote down his second question. Beef, mashed or blended? Ever eaten a raw egg hole? Master blended. Kyle wrote down his third question. Do you ever smile? She smiles like right at the beginning, and I feel like she's and she smiled throughout the other couple questions in my last one. So I don't want to do that. I purposely ran over your puppy. That one is mwah, that is that is golden material, Kyle. Kyle, you are the master of this. And I am feeding you so i am the master of this obviously screw you kyle wrote down his last question do you feel guilty are you guilty yeah no we're doing are you guilty we're full on batmanning this crap um kyle ripped his page of notes out of the notebook and got up from his desk let's open the closet it was dark and he could only really see his hanging shirts let's choose an outfit i want to go Ooh, a suit of armor Heck no, we're doing the jeans and swimming goggles. Kyle decided on a fashion-forward, casual style. <laughs> he could barely see out of the goggles. Back to the room. Ooh, I get a, I, I'm getting like a bunch of different things here. I like this. Um, let's exit bedroom to hallway. Kyle walked into the small hallway that connects the rooms of his apartments together. Um, do I want to eat? No. Let's check the locked door. Kyle walked over to the strange door in the hallway, but found quickly that the door was locked from the inside. Float, float through as a ghost. <laughs> I love this game. Float through with a ghost. Kyle used his ghostly powers to walk straight through the door. Go inside. Kyle found himself in the room. He stashed the various items sent to him by fans. Check sewing machine. Check supernatural artifact, get laser claymore, or back to hallway. I feel like the supernatural artifact has something to do with the fact that I'm a ghost. Maybe. This is one of the many mysterious artifacts Kyle has been sent over the years. Grab artifact or smash artifact? Let's grab it. Kyle stashes the mysterious artifact for later use. Back to room. Kyle found himself in the room. He stashed the various... Let's check the sewing machine. 
So bug puppets? Hold up. You're telling me... All my life, I've been looking for certainty and closure. And all along, what I needed was bug puppets? Yes. Kyle started sewing dead bugs together to make a small act... <laughs> actuated finger puppets. More. Kyle crafted a bug puppet for each finger. He named them after guests he had interviewed on his show. <laughs> Why is this a thing? Back to room. Alright, let's go. Kyle hurried to the set. Per normal, he ceased to be a ghost before he arrived. Hold up. What? Kyle, Kyle, you need help. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. And she has nothing. She eats pickles covered in chocolate and makes soup out of milk and salt. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Throw artifact at Rachel. <laughs> As she approached to shake his hand, Kyle produced the supernatural artifact and winged it at Rachel's face. Within a moment the art of, of the artifact colliding with her head, Rachel started to turn into a lizard demon. Okay, tell me more. Rachel began to cause destruction, tipping over lights and causing crew members to scatter. Kyle realized the disaster he caused, decided it was up to him to tame the monster. Throw self at monster, or throw crew members at monster. <laughs> I feel like these two have different endings like the selfless ending or the I don't know I'm gonna throw a crew member at a monster cuz I want to Kyle started to grab nearby crew members and hurl them at Rachel I can't even with this game. I love it so much The crew members rebounded off of Rachel on all sides causing little to no damage to her or themselves in a lizard demon rage, Rachel rushed at Kyle and drove him into the opposite wall, face first. She began to pi- uh, I can't speak. She began to pound Kyle's face into the wall repeatedly, littering it with head-sized holes. Kyle, having been in this situation before- Kyle, you are a mysterious man. Felt he knew exactly what to do. Balling his fists, Kyle began to punch himself in the stomach repeatedly, causing loud gurgles and pops. Kyle's strategy did not help. He continued to be mashed into the wall. <laughs> After a period of time, the artifacts lodged in Rachel's face came loose and fell to the floor. Rachel immediately turned her into herself, her normal human self. The studio, now in shambles, flicked to life. The broadcast had started automatically. Kyle, unable to move properly, became aware that the many eyes that the eyes of many were upon him. Kyle tried to address the audience, but instead spewed some mixture of breakfast, <laughs> felgum, and chunks of wall. Kyle's spewing video became a very hot meme. Online personalities used it to express distaste about social issues. Teenagers sent it to each other about homework amounts. I get that. Rachel's broadcast was rescheduled for the following week. Fans complained about not being able to see Rachel's face as she wore protective headgear the entire time. <laughs> Rachel prepared by being a lizard. Oh my gosh, that's an ending. What even is this game? I love it so much. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode of Kyle is famous. I forgot the name there for a second. I've been playing this game for half an hour and I have already forgotten what it is. I absolutely love this game. I didn't think it was gonna be this good coming into it. I knew it was gonna be funny because it's labeled as a comedy and the trailer was kind of funny, but dang, I thoroughly enjoyed every second of this game and I hope to play it again later. And I can't wait to get back to it. This one, this one's gonna bring me back. This one's gonna bring me back very quickly and a lot. Uh, we may have to try to get every ending in this game. And there's a Christmas expansion, expansion DLC. I think there might be other DLCs too. I'm not sure. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed this game. It's absolutely phenomenal. And uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a video. 
Thank you guys again for watching, and I will see all of you guys in the next video.